Hello, Keiko here, and welcome to the chaos. Let's go. Hello, Hui. Hui An. Hello, I'm Hui An, innkeeper of the Wangshu Inn. Are you in need of a meal or a room for the night? How's business? Thanks to yourself and all our dear guests, business has been going reasonably well. We will get by. Aha, it's getting livelier again. Uh, what can you tell me about the rumours? Rumours? Uh, rumours? What rumours? If you mean someone's been bad-mouthing the Wangshu Inn, don't believe a word of what you hear. But if you just want to get the lowdown about what's been going on recently, the Fatui's presence in Liyue Harbour has been growing recently. It looks like trouble is brewing. Now it's your turn. Any interesting stories to share with me? No, but I want to know about the dog, because one of these options was about a dog. Uh, who's this lovely doggy? This is Richie. We called him that, hoping he would bring us good luck. He's a good boy, aren't you, Richie? He doesn't make a mess, and he's good with the guests. I love that. He named his dog Richie in the hopes he would get rich. <laughs> okay, um, who's that over there? She doesn't look like she's from Liwa. Oh uh, yes, that would be my wife. She moved from Monset to marry me. When I was a child, we used to sing this nursery rhyme about Liwa women. Half the girls married to a winery town, the other half sailed to a faraway land. Oh, how the tables have turned. I feel quite proud to have broken the mould. Ha ha. Golda is very sharp. She picks up on all these little details about people and figures out their backgrounds. Okay, at least he loves his wife. Um, anyway, I think... Is there somebody upstairs? I don't remember. Oh, there are some people upstairs. Do they... Do they talk? Oh, they do! Hello! This wine really is better than tea, warming the gut and circulating the blood. Wine better than tea? Huh, I think you must have had too much to drink. You just don't understand. Just a small cup of wine and, ah, uh, it's like you've gone to heaven. On the other hand, we have your Lira tea. It's so bitter that it's hardly fit for human lips. Heaven, perhaps you're hallucinating. Why not try a trip to the Boo Boo Pharmacy? The beauty of tea lies in the taste of sweetness that hides itself in the bitterness. Just like life, which has its ups and downs. Oh, a little drink of tea helps bring out the philosophy in you, eh? And what of it? Tea is healthier than wine, after all. Look at how yellow your teeth are from drinking tea all day. I don't see where the health comes from. Why are you... Oh, no, I guess they have differing opinions about drinks. <laughs> Um, okay, let's see if there's anybody upstairs. I think we've already talked to... Well, we should go see if the chef has any other dialogue options because... I don't remember if I talked to him properly. I mean, I probably did, but... I'm not sure. Okay, let's just go down... back down here. Did I talk to... I feel like I have talked to her. Um... Hey, boss lady. Ugh. I have to tell you, it's not boss lady. I'm the boss here at Wangshu Inn. Not boss lady, just boss. Oh no, we definitely not, because I remember talking to the cat. What is Lambda involved in? I have no idea. If your tea is too bitter, you're brewing it for too long. It's basic knowledge. I know, they're just... He's just not making good tea. <laughs> I say that knowing that I don't I don't really like tea. But, but, but it's true. If you, if you don't like the tea, you need to pick better tea. Because there's lots of different types of tea, so he's just picking the wrong one. Maybe he should try a fruity tea. Maybe he'd like that better. Instead of just assuming all tea is terrible. Anyway, there's like a lot of layers to this place. So I think now we got to come down here and see if there's anybody to talk to. Um... I mean, I see her, but I just want to see if there's anything- oh, I see some barrels. I don't know if I can talk to- like, I can't talk to them, but I can smash them! Oh, a cabbage. It was kind of disappointing that there were five barrels and only one cabbage, but... I guess- I guess we just gotta make do. Okay, uh, let's see. Hello, Yuhua. Oh, she's a waitress. Hello. Greetings. Are you in need of a meal or a room for the night? Uh, who are you? I am Yuhua, a waitress here at the Wangshu Inn. Nothing suspicious about me whatsoever. No one innocent ever says that. <laughs> What's your role here? I'm a waitress at this establishment, or a server, if you will. I'm afraid there's not much more to say than that. Okay, that was very suspicious. I bet she's a spy. Um, okay. Let's help me about the inn. The Wangshu Inn is situated in a convenient location on one of the main thoroughfares that runs between Monster and Liyue, boasting pleasant accommodation at an affordable price. There is simply no better choice for passing travellers who need somewhere to stay the night. Nothing suspicious about it whatsoever. Ha ha ha. That was the most reassuring thing anyone could tell me. Okay, hello, Madam Chin. Traveling without any baggage really is the most relaxing. Aha, youngsters who need to work hard while you have your youth so you can live out your dreams when you're older. Your dreams? Of course, when I was young, I dreamed of traveling the world, but then I wanted to bring everything with me and it was too much trouble. 
But then I still fantasized about obtaining an Anemo vision. While the thought of using the power of Anemo to pull my house along is quite romantic, even now, but though I didn't manage to obtain a vision, I eventually woke up to the fact that the best sort of journey is the kind where you bring nothing other than money. My entire lifetime's worth of savings was for this trip. Whatever I lack, I buy directly. She wanted to do the thing from like up. She wanted to, to make a floating house, but it didn't work. And that's, that's so tragic. But honestly, live your life, lady. Live your life. Madam Chim, uh, may your travels be smooth. Thank you, child. May it be so with you as well. I like her. She's fun. Um, oh, hello. That should just about do it. What hard work. Uh, what's up with those stairs over there? The stairs? Oh, you want to go up to the inn? You've come at a bad time. There's two big holes on the way up. To prevent people from missing their steps, the boss has had the whole stairway closed. The preparations for repairs have been made, but the stairs won't be fit for walking for a while. Don't worry, you can't use the stairs, but the elevator over there is just fine. You can move cargo, so carrying people isn't a problem. If you're in a rush, how about using that instead? And while you're at it, help me give this to the boss. It's a gift from a guest. Um, why aren't you going yourself? I just stay on here to receive goods. There's a lot of goods to receive, and I didn't make any mistakes. Right off you go, watch your footing now, the inn is pretty high up, and falling off halfway is no joke. He is not lying, I have fallen off the cliff. <laughs> Multiple times. I kind of want to know if he's going to tell me anything else. Okay, who are you? If you've nothing else to do, don't come here looking for trouble. Okay, what are you doing? Not much, I'm just watching this crane on orders from my boss. Truth be told, there isn't all that much to do. I mean, what's this crane supposed to do? Grow legs and run off? What does it do? Don't touch it however you like, this contraption isn't something an outsider can use. We boatmen rely on this to help us transport cargo. As our boss has said that if anything goes wrong with that crane, our heads will be bolted to it, and well, whatever you do, just don't touch it. Well, that was very suspicious. I'm just reading everything, because I like to know things. Uh, this is the Wang Shui and Bulletin Board providing notices of all recent happenings, big and small. If guests have any suggestions, requests, or other thoughts, please feel free to post them here as well. Strange, yesterday I caught sight of a prince from a faraway land checking in, but this morning he was already gone in his room empty. I wanted to make friends with him, seeing his impressive appearance, but didn't expect him to leave in such a rush. What a pity. Don't fret, before he left, the prince said he had booked a room in the city at the Baiju guest house. We can go to Liwe the harbour to look for him. Ooh, exciting, exciting. <laughs> okay, uh, let's talk to all of these people, and I'm going to steal those fruits from right in front of him. But first, yeah. <laughs> Hello. Hi there, no that seat's not taken, please feel free to sit with me. Who are you? My name is Zhonglin, I'm a travelling merchant from... Hmm, am I from Qingzhou village or from the city? I don't know which one counts as home. Tell me about your business. My business? I'm just a small time vendor. I pick up a few little bits of business that slip through the hands of those Liyue tycoons, the Qi Xing. As a travelling merchant, you can't possibly make good money from selling general goods you'd find in the store. You have to focus on more niche items. These mushrooms are from Sumeru, for example. I'll bet you've never seen them before. I have not. Uh, I'm not really sure the right person to ask, I'm no expert in plants. They don't look too much different on the outside, maybe they have a unique taste or something. How about this? You take this one back with you and put it in your next dish. If the dish turns out well, put in a good word for me with all your acquaintances. What if it poisons me though? Like then what? <laughs> what happens then? Okay, tell me about your home. My wife lives in the city while my daughter lives with her grandparents, my parents in Mount Qingxi. So what does that make me? Good question. I'm not sure I have a good answer. Speaking of origins, where do you come from? Ooh, you threw it back at us. <laughs> okay, okay, I think some people disappeared though, so we need to talk to everybody. Oh, I think I triggered a quest. <laughs> Sir, I believe it might be worth mentioning that if we take today into account, we've now eaten radish veggie stew for six full days. I die financial straits notwithstanding, I believe that our gastrointestinal circumstances are not to be ignored. And right you are, my dear Lu Tong, sharp as ever if I do say so myself. It may be due to these gastrointestinal issues that we have been unable to ascertain the flavour of this dish. We require a witness, Lu Tong, we must find ourselves a third party. You flatter me, sir, but I believe that my point was... What are you doing? <laughs> Aha! And here comes our witness now. And there's more than one, to be sure. Wonderful! Uh, what witnesses? You mean us? Indeed. Pray tell, have you ever had radish veggie soup? Are you familiar with its flavour and how it's made? Sir, I believe that we must at least appraise them of the whys and wherefores of the situation. Of course, we know it well. Keiko knows how to make it too. Uh, we should really hear what they say first. Right, yes, allow me to explain this commission. I hope you shall be amenable to it. I am Lu Tong, and this is Garcia, my boss, who hails from Fontaine. Mr. Garcia is currently developing, uh, I believe he calls it the numbering machine. Ooh, 
More specifically, it is a tool that will allow people to perform various calculations. Is that right, sir? As precise as precise can be, my dear Luton, the number machine's functions are just so. A concise answer, indeed. Yes, conciseness. We must be concise. That transformer is far too complex. Wait, but what does this have to do with radish veggie soup? Ah, I think the question would be best answered by you, Mr. Garcia. But how shall we simplify it? Oh, right, yes. Allow me to explain. Hmm, let us begin with the most elementary matters. Are you familiar with formula? Formula. Is he going to turn soup into maths? Okay. <laughs> um, not exactly. I am. <laughs> all right, that's all right. You may consider formulae to be um, an equation that is used to express the relationships between various quantities and which possesses a certain general applicability. What? Sounds impressive. Simply put, we intend to use a numbering machine to attempt to write a recipe formula for radish veggie soup. Mr. Garcia believes that as long as we obtain the right formula, we can convert the method of making radish soup into a sort of general procedure. An idiot-proof procedure, if you will. As long as this procedure is followed, anyone can produce delicious radish veggie soup. That sure sounds pretty good, but couldn't you have just asked someone to teach you how to make the dish directly? Unfortunately, such a method is too greatly predicted upon natural talent. People like Mr. Gossie and I, who lack any culinary predisposition at all, it is unlikely that we would be able to grasp the essence of any lessons that any chef, no matter how patient, might teach us. In fact, I believe that Mr. Yan Xiao of this very inn has experienced this firsthand. So you need our help for the formula. No, certainly not. I would never trouble you excessively in such a way. Precisely, we'd like to, you to serve as our neutral third party. Simply put, we'll need you to try the Raja's veggie soup that Mr. Garcia makes according to the formula and give comments. So we're here to be taste testers for some good grub then. Paimon, it might poison you. These guys sound like they really can't cook. Like it's worse than me. Uh, it'll be fine anyway. Paimon's never eaten radish veggie soup made according to some formula before. Let's just give it a go. It's settled then. In which case, let us adjourn to the kitchen. Mr. Yan Xiao has kindly allowed us to use it. Mr. Garcia, sir, shall we proceed with the same steps for this experiment as before? Hmm. Oh, right. Sorry, I was just a little distracted. Too many unruly parameters floating back in my head, you know? But yes, let us go with our previous three-step process. I... I don't know if this is going to be a good idea. I'm going to talk to this lady first. <laughs> Um, spare me the pleasantries, what is it you want? Who are you? I'm a guard for hire. I escort goods safely from A to B. Not to both, but in all my time doing this, I've never slipped up. Wow. About guards for hire. You seem to know that it's a term specific to Liyue that refers to mercenaries who specialise in protecting cargo. People of Liyue prize mercantilism and travelling merchants must go far abroad. Our job is to protect them from bandits who would rob them of their goods. I've accumulated a lot of experience from my years working in this field for, and I don't mind sharing. Ooh, I think she gave us some stuff. Okay, um, let me see. Who are you? And might I ask your name? Haha, -ha, I forgot to say my name. It's Huang Shan. I'm pretty sure, well, pretty well known on the merchant's route between Monster and Leah. I'm thorough in my work and people, and people so say. The rat the room is on the road. A dragon attacked Monster the other day, so I'm taking a temporary break. I can deal with monsters, beasts, and bandits, no problem, but I'm not trying my luck against no dragon. Speaking of rumours, this is where the rumours of two nations meet. I'm told the staff here are all informers for the Qi Xing. The look on your face suggests you took that seriously. Ha ha ha. Well, I already knew that. Everyone here is really suspicious. I forgot that they were specifically informers, though. Um. Okay, there's a couple more people here. Hello. Hello, traveller. Oh, she's the time trial person. Who are you? I'm Dandy. I'm an adventurer specialising in mountaineering and other highly dangerous activities. The underground world is not for me, because combat is not my forte. It's also not easy to climb that. Okay, did I do her time trials before? I've done some of them, but have I done this one? You know what? I'm not going to do that. Maybe I'll do it later. Um, okay, let me... There's another guy over here. Oh, and another quest. Okay. Hello. Oh, did you come here because you've heard that an adept has saved me, hoping you, that my luck might rub off on you? No. Well, it's fine. It's not as if I had anything else to do. Let's have a chat then. An adept has saved you. Some time ago, I picked up a stone that looked like an outstretched thumb and a little finger. With such a strange shape, it must surely have been a sacred stone, and so I must be protected by the adepti. Not to mention the fact that since I obtained this mysterious stone, good things follow me wherever I go. This must be what they call rocks fall fortune's turn, eh? 
When you think about it like that, I suppose all those people at the Lantern Rite were celebrating me then. The same goes for all the people coming to Wangshu Inn. They must all be here for my blessing, no? Well then, should you encounter any good fortune in the future, just remember to thank me in your heart. Well, this guy... Very arrogant. <laughs> okay, um, why don't you have anything to do? Oh, just talking about it makes my blood boil. Ever since I received the protection of the Adepti, I've been doing business on the road between Monster and Liyue. And it was going swimmingly too. But after a while, someone, I have no idea who, but I'm sure it was someone in our merchant guild, jealous of my success, caused the higher-ups to have me posted to Qingzhou Village. Hmm, even if I were to die here at Wangshu Inn, I would never go to Qingzhou Village. That destitute backwater would be the death of my talents and fortune. That's so rude. Qingzhou Village is lovely. I mean, it is full of old people, but like, it's lovely there. It's a very safe, nice place. You didn't have to be so mean about it. That's where, that's where Yao Yao's from. Well, roughly. Yeah, I think Yao Yao's from even more remote places than Chingsei Village. But it's where Yao Yao's from. I will not take the slander. <laughs> Let me just pick up some more stuff. And then there was one more person I think who I didn't talk to. Oh, and it's the, the, the guy, the fishing guy. We gotta talk to the fishing guy. I think I, I don't know if it's worth getting that. I'm too lazy to get in the water to get the rock. We're gonna, we're gonna get this. We're gonna talk to the fishing guy. I think this is the guy we were literally just having dinner with. Hello. The inner trade up there. Oh, you want to chat? Keep your voice down. Don't scare the fish away. Who are you? I'm just a guy with a fishing rod and plenty of time on my hands. You really want to get on a first name basis, huh? I stopped using my real name a long time ago. Just call me Jiangxia. I want to go fishing too. You have far more important things to do. You don't want to follow in my footsteps. I'm just waiting around for my life to come to an end. Reason being, I did what I had to do and now it's done. What did you have to do? I think you already know the answer to that, because like you, I used to be one of the chosen ones in this world. The difference is, I used my power to do some bad things. I gave up my vision. I'm not worthy of it anymore, nor do I have any real use for it. Oh. Well, at least he's on the road to redemption? I guess. <laughs> Better than nothing. Um, anyway, there's one more person up here who I think had a quest for me. At least it's not the same... Oh no, it's a different guy. Okay, hello. How unexpected. What's unexpected? I originally wished to enter the mountains to seek the Adepti, my liege. Oh, he's not my liege. Uh, yet now Liyue seems to shed its skin with every passing day. Do poets such as I have any reason not to write a few poems of leisure? Still though, my heart is burdened with words. They are too scattered and lack a central spirit of poetry to rally around. I was just puzzling over the matter. Uh, whatever you do mean, my liege. Ah, uh, but you are no poet. It is normal for you if you do not understand. The flow of poet's words is a mystery unto itself. But other than the words, the poetic spirit itself is fraught with many meanings. Meanings that I shall explain to you in detail, in exchange, perhaps, for a little favour. What favour? Do not fret, my liege, it's like this. I merely feel that I am to offer up a poem for Liyue as it is today. Then I must draw inspiration from the city itself. I well travelled, my liege, and must surely be learned in many fields, including that of social grace. Perhaps then you could go to Liyue Harbour in my stead to gather data. No, no, perhaps the intentionality shall render the exercise mediocre yet. And moreover, you are... Hmm. Please allow me to marshal my thoughts. How about this then? You merely need to go through the city as you are, want to, then return and tell me of the things that catch your eye. Great. <laughs> Splendiferous. I shall be counting on you, my liege. Wait, how is it gonna... Okay. I actually have to do that now. Okay, I guess I'm gonna... We're gonna do this first, though. We gotta go to the kitchen. We're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna do these quests. Because I think I've triggered all the quests in the area. So we're gonna actually, like, do them. Um, I think I have to take the lift though. <gasps> oh my god, the lift is there. I've never actually taken the lift because I think every- No! Oh. I guess I'm not taking the lift then. <laughs> I think I wanted to take the lift because I've never taken the lift because it takes forever. And now it wants me to- Who am I supposed to be talking to? What quest have I triggered now? <laughs> oh dear. Is it going to come back down? Okay, the lift's coming back down. I can take the lift. Amazing. <laughs> okay. Let's take the lift. And then, hopefully, we can do whatever quests I need to do. Because I think I've accumulated, like, loads and loads of quests. I am on all of the quests. Yes. <laughs> I need to do so many quests today. Because that's my goal. That is my goal. To do all of the quests. So that they'll finally go away. Okay, um, so we're gonna go to the kitchen because that's where 
these guys were trying to cook. Probably terribly. Um, let us begin, Lu Tong, with 10% less of each ingredient this time. All right then, step one, begin cooking. Yes, sir. First, the water. Uh, careful there with the speed at which the water is poured. It is most important. Next, we add the ingredients first. In go the radishes. Uh, yeah, this looks more like an alchemy experiment than cooking. Will dishes made this way really turn out all right? And it's done, radish veggie soup. Our process went quite smoothly, sir. Indeed, let us give it a try, Traveller. You're welcome to have seconds if you too so wish. Ooh, let's dig in. I am apprehensive about putting this in my mouth. Uh, this tastes like... Sir, I expect these radishes must be cooked for a while longer. Ugh, how did the mince turn out like this? I'm sure that I had calculated its optimal cooking time. Oh, I'll, I'll wait. Uh, the flavour of the soup is actually worse than what was made in our previous attempt. I fully concur with your position, sir. All right, step two, feedback. I say the formula must be missing one parameter or another or our calculations are still imprecise. I must adjust the machine's algorithm. Lutung, have you recorded all the data from this cooking session? They have all been recorded, sir. Excellent, we are one step closer to success. Then in that case, on step three, requesting that a chef demonstrate the cooking process once more. You know, Yan Xiao is like right there, right? Uh, I think letting us use his kitchen was as far as he would give ground. I fear that you're the only one who we can count on to help us make that radish veggie, veggie soup, Traveller. Radish veggie soup. <laughs> okay. I guess we gotta cook it. Or I might already have- Ooh. I actually kind of want to see what this chicken thing is. Oh, this is the thing we tried to make earlier. I kind of want to make one for the sake of making one. This is completely not what I'm supposed to be doing. But I just want to, like, have it not say zero. Well, that was easy. Okay, <laughs> What is it? He wants radish soup. Where's my radish soup? I actually like don't know where my where is oh here it is. Oh it's an easy recipe as well. They're just that bad. Oh I didn't mean to press that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> that is true, I have I've got so much soup. Um how do you mess up I don't know how they mess up soup that badly, but they did. Hello, have my soup. You finished making the dish already? You must be skilled indeed. Here you go, have a soup. Everyone carries the dishes down. Downstairs, where are you going? <laughs> oh, okay, down here. This flavour is mighty fine indeed, but I must say it tastes entirely different from the radish veggie soup that Mr. Yan Xiao makes. Pardon my curiosity, but how did you make this dish? What were the exact amounts of ingredients? What seasons did you use and how? Um, personal space. Ah oh, yes, my apologies. Still, I would like to know how you made that dish. In detail, please. You never know how the inspiration might come. Okay, we just explained it. I see. Ah, there truly are too many variables involved in deciding the flavour of a single dish. Much computation needed to refine our calculations. But I will need to improve my numbering machine to allow for more computations. I can only hope that I can find some inspiration in the Academia's library. Uh, why do you want to create a machine anyway? Uh, good question. Before I answer that question, permit me to ask you one first. Do you think that the numbering machine possesses thought? Well, this feels like a very philosophical question, like the Turing test. Um, what do you mean by that? Exactly. Please think on this question first, if you would. We can discuss this question when we next meet. As for now, I must organize some data first. Come, Lutong, we begin. Yes, sir. Ah, oh, yes, please take these good traveler. Please do not be upset with Miss Garcia. This is just how he is. Uh, are you two going to Sumeru? Indeed, Mr. Garcia wishes to read up on some resources at the Academia, and I have been hired to go with him. See you soon. See you, Traveller. It would be wonderful if we should have the fortune to meet again at Sumeru, and I believe Mr. Garcia would be most glad as well. I guess we're going to have to go to Sumeru. Like, obviously we will, but at some point we got to go just to give him his soup, because I think these guys are going to starve. <laughs> Okay, let's talk to these guys. Um, if only I could open up another uncut rock. The next one will surely be the real deal. I can feel it. If it wasn't for C right now, I'd be... Uncut rocks? Huh, are you also interested in betting on rocks? Then you've come to the right man. Let me tell you how it's done. You cannot judge the value of these stones based on the outward face. A real expert but also knows how to use their nose. Nose? This is deep water indeed. I would say that even with my prodigious talents, it took me at least eight years of practice to really grasp the technique. So have you struck gold? Uh, well, I've just been unlucky. If it wasn't for C's constant nagging that my father was coming to catch me, which affected my judgement, I would certainly, definitely have figured it out. 
Uh, see, I would have chosen that yellow one, and if I had, I would still be in this- would I still be in this state now? So I take it, he's gone off, he's been gambling away all his money, she's been stopping him, and he is upset. I wonder how much longer the young master can last. Hello, I'm sorry, there were some things on my mind. The young master? That young man whose lips are never far from the words betting on uncut stones is the young master of our house. The current master and the young master argued till they were red in the face just before they parted, but not a few moments after the young master left, the master sent me after him with some travelling expenses. Our lady seemed quite unworried, saying that the young master would shortly return. Well, he had a similar thing once when he was younger. Okay. Um, your clothes. Oh, please do not worry, this is our young master's instruction. I'm not sure why he says that I wear a maid uniform from Monster, though I suspect it is some curious hobby of his. But since these were his instructions, I will follow them. Me? Well, I don't exactly mind it, although it does feel a bit weird when people stare as they come and go. Right. <laughs> okay. What is his second sentence? Uh, what about see the maid? Don't bring her into this. I may have lost my bet at the Jade Mystery over a hundred times, but this is what they call gaining experience. Was there ever a venture that was all gain and no loss anyway? But my stubborn old man wouldn't listen. He booted me out in a fit of pique. But at least mother understood me and sent C after me with some travelling expenses. But she only ever gives me a little every day. I have to save for half a month before I can open one stone. Hmm, well no matter. Soon I will be back in the saddle. No, I shall be on the rise. Great, at least his mother is smart enough to hand him money a little bit at a time so we literally can't blow it all because there's nothing there to spend. Um, Master, we... Hui sounds like my brother talking about his strategies for mining time. <laughs> love it, love it. And yes, we should get out of there. Anyway, we gotta do some more stuff. I forgot what we were doing, as in... Oh, the stairway. Okay, we should talk to this guy, because he's got to be nearby. Okay, I, I opened too many quests and I forgot which ones I was doing. Because you gotta do all of them. So we're gonna try and do the ones in Wang Shuin. Um, it looks like we gotta talk to the guy. And then I think we have to go round Liyue to get poetic inspiration for this other guy. And we gotta help the third mysterious dude collect his definitely legal papers that he lost somewhere. I definitely wanna do that one because I feel like that would fall under suspicious papers that would get my world locked out of co-op again. Uh, we've got to repair those stairs quickly. Are you the innkeeper? I am, what can I do for you? Some guy downstairs asked us to give this package to you. Oh, this must be a package that a guest sent to me. Why didn't Jun Chiang bring it up himself? The well, goods to pick up, did he? Ha, huh, I bet he was just too lazy to go up and down the elevator. I'm really sorry, you're a guest of ours, and the stairs just had to be broken at this time. I'm finding a way to fix it as we speak. And to think that we made you take the trouble to bring this package up for me. Here, take this as a token of my appreciation. This was originally for Jun Chiang, but since he made you deliver the package for him, then the pay is yours by right. Well then, I must be going to get the preparations for repairs going. Feel free to have a look around the inn. If there's anything you need, you can look for me at any time. I was planning to set the inn on fire, remember? I don't remember doing this. What the when was I going to set the inn on fire? Was I going to set the inn on fire? Or did you want me to set the inn on fire? And I didn't necessarily agree to do this. Because I think it could go either way. <laughs> anyway, we're going to go and see if we can get some poetic inspiration for this dude. I don't know what he's expecting us to find. I am I am not a poet. And as such, I don't know if I'm going to find anything that's particularly poem worthy. But that, that's okay. We're going to go over here. Climb onto this roof. Um, are we going to find the dog? Because that little arrow is basically pointing at the dog. Because I think that'd be quite funny if the dog is the poetic inspiration. It might genuinely be, actually. It's either the dog or these guys. Oh, there's a lot of dogs gathered around. Does that count as something you put in a poem? That's what I said! Oh my god, it actually was the dog. I was mostly joking. And now we have to go to the pharmacy to see if there's anything in the pharmacy. Are we just finding, like, random things? Uh, we're just going on a walk and going, like, oh, look, a cool rock. And then we're going to go back and tell him we found a cool rock. And he's going to be like, what, what, <laughs> what do you mean, a cool rock? Um, I don't think you can pet the dogs, though. You can just look at them. Because I've seen dogs before and they don't they don't do anything. Uh, look at all those finches, it might be great fun to compose a poem out of that. Okay, now we've got to go to the... Oh. If I go up here I will trigger a quest. So I guess we're going to trigger a quest. It has a cutscene and everything because I wanted to play um, 
genius invocation with the guy over here. And I accidentally triggered a quest. So then I, I, I left and I came back in. <laughs> so that I would... I guess we're gonna skip that for now. I'll, I'll come back to it in a minute. But first of all, I guess I'm gonna do... Help that guy find his mysterious... No, this is... Hmm. No, we gotta, we gotta do it. I can't just not finish this quest, it's like halfway done. So I guess we're gonna see the start of a different quest. Because, um, yeah. <laughs> when I'm in a pinch, I just write about a finch. I love it. Very simple, yet effective rhyme. <laughs> okay, okay. So I think what's gonna happen is I'm gonna fall in the middle to get my thing. I'm gonna trigger another quest. So let, let's see. Okay. Okay, is this gonna, is this gonna work? Probably not, but it's, it's gonna be fine. Quite a few people around here, let's go chat with them and see what they have to say. Oh! I might have delayed the starting of the- see, clearly, that's the start of a quest. You can see Ningguang's there and everything. But I don't know if I'm over here, so it didn't trigger, or if because I'm doing a different quest, it didn't- it didn't count yet. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. Um, are you an outlander? Would you like to burn the incense stick? But that's not- good part. Oh no, it's need to talk to these people. Um, hello, how? All is well, all is well. What's well? Oh, it's you, Traveller. So there was a big incident in the city earlier, right? Well, it's well that nothing untoward happened afterward. And more importantly, it's well that all the food stores in the city are still open. I mean, what would become of all those delicacies I enjoyed otherwise? So you like food. Uh, don't you look down on it. The quickest way to know if a place is good or not is to see how its cuisine tastes. Just talking about this is making me hungry again. Maybe I should go get a little something. Spoken like Paimon. That is exactly what Paimon would say. Because <laughs> Paimon's always thinking about food. Okay, let's talk to this guy. Um, hello. The more I hear of this opera, the less I understand it. Is something wrong? Well, hello there, traveller. Well, here's the problem. Her UT house has released a few new operas lately. But they're, well, they're most likely, that's for sure. But I do not quite comprehend them. Or how the young people seem to enjoy it so very much. Um, and how do you feel? That's a good question. Personally, I don't mind hearing some of classics. That's what I'm used to, after all. But at the same time, Leo Harbour is undergoing so many changes, a few new operas seem to fit the reigning mood just fine, too. <sighs> Still, these changes feel all too swift. The old operas haven't played in a while. I wonder what Rex Lapid would... No, let us not speak of that. Ah. I guess... I guess he's sad that, um... The operas are changing. Okay, well that, that worked. I didn't think that was gonna work, so, you know. Okay, um, and dogs are so much fun. There, my poem's done! <gasps> Love it. <laughs> uh, honestly, these young people and their operas. I know, how could they? So many new, new operas, and this guy, <laughs> he just wants to listen to the classics. Anyway, at least we got all the poems for this guy. So let's see if he has anything to tell us about his poems. Okay, is he gonna tell us a poem? Uh, what have you learned, my liege? A fair bit. Oh, verily, please do share. There's a lot of dogs by the South Wharf. Good, good, most likely indeed. The movie pharmacy hosts many finches nearby. Finches, yes, a sign of peaceful times, lovely poetic imagery. Some only care for eating. There is nothing wrong with that. Eating is one of the prime needs and joys of life, especially in a city such as Leo Harbour. This too is quite fascinating. I will record this, it may be of use. Some feel that things are changing too quickly. That too is as we should expect. Some, Liyue must almost seem to be shedding its skin with every passing day, and even I find it hard to keep up or accept every single shift. But this is a matter most broad, I fear that a single poem may not capture it adequately, still I shall write it down. That should do for now, I see that I chose wisely in seeking your aid, my liege. I believe that this will add at least a few entries to my next anthology. Ah uh, yes, apart from some material goods, I have also prepared a little gift for you. Please take it as a thanks for your succour. Once my new anthology is published, you may exchange the signature for a free copy. Thank you. Oh, he actually gave us a signature. Can can we exchange that? Like, is that is that a thing that's going to happen? I hope it is because I think that's quite funny. Okay. Um, we got to find. Oh, we got to find this guy's mysterious invoices that he definitely lost in a very legal manner. Oh great. Okay, this one's close. This is so very close. A little waypoint. I appreciate that. The other one I'm actually gonna have to run to, which I appreciate less. Okay, where's the invoice? Oh, it's just somewhere near here. Okay, can I elemental sight it? I'm literally in the area. Hmm. 
I think I just have to like run around and look for it. It's probably going to have a little glowing arrow and everything. And it's going to be very obvious. And I'm just going to be... Oh, is it here? No, that's just... That's just fruit. Oh, I hate the looking for <laughs> the finding things quest because I always fail miserably at finding things because I'm really bad at this. Um, <laughs> where am I supposed to find these invoices? It's like literally here somewhere. Great. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Where? I am so genuinely confused. But there's a child, so I'm gonna say hello to the child. Hello, Meng Meng. Meng Meng. Eight, nine, ten. Ah, shucks, I've run out of fingers. What are you now? What are you doing? Picking flowers. I want to make a flower chain for, for you. We were going to play together today, but his dad's sick, so he has to watch the tea stand. Uh, my garland keeps breaking, though, so I have to keep having to pick new flowers. Oh, that's sad. I also see another quest. I'm going to pick up the quest, because that is literally what I'm doing today. So hello, Millerleaf guy. And we got to find these things, but I genuinely don't know how to find them. Um, hello. I can't cope. What's wrong? Who goes there? All who wish to cross this bridge are subject to interrogation. Those are the rules. That said, just look up what you're wearing. You're definitely not someone I need to worry about. Uh, why? Think about it. Criminals would want to dress as discreetly as possible. No, you on the other hand are dressed most ostentatiously indeed. What are you doing? Uh, I'm the Malith responsible for the zone. This is a major thoroughfare to Dihua Marsh. But in the tourists all pass this way, so I'm stationed here to stand guard. But this zone is much too big for one person. Just the other day, I discovered a group of monsters ugh, monsters nearby. It appears they've set up camp, and although they haven't made a move yet, it's definitely a safety risk. I need to keep an eye on them. I'd happily go and clear them out, except I worry if I left my post, some other monsters will seize the chance to ambush passers-by. I feel so helpless stuck here all day. Can you go and sort out the monsters over there for me? It would free me up to concentrate on other matters. Okay. Give my thanks. I'll stay here and keep watch to stop anyone from taking a wrong turn, ending up deep in Duhar Marsh. Okay, I guess we're gonna... I still need to find the... I still genuinely have no idea how I'm supposed to find these um, invoices. Um, okay, okay, my 15 minute warning went off. Oh, okay. Sad times, sad times. But also, you know. <laughs> oh, here it is, I found it. It seems super heavy. Is it really just invoices in here? Right, even Paimon has noticed it's suspicious. <laughs> Paimon is not the most observant person. So if Paimon's noticed, then it really is dodgy. Also, I've met this guy on the rock. He's on the rock because he's terrified of this dog specifically. And this is the only dog you can talk to. You can say hello to him and you can tell him he's a good dog and he just whiffs at you. <laughs> I like him. He's fun. Okay, you're not being... <laughs> I don't want to fight the monsters. I'm... I also went the wrong way. Oh, there's a frog. Pick up the frog. Um, I also went the wrong way. Well, I didn't go the wrong way, but I think this way would have been the better way to go first. And then we gotta go that way. They're just slightly too far spread out. It's mildly irritating. Mildly irritating. Uh, what happened to the cake from the start of the stream? I mean, I don't want to fight them. I'll fight them, but I don't want to fight them. I can fight them. But I don't want to fight them. I also kind of want to know where they are, because if it's those monsters, for instance, I should probably fight them while I'm already over here. But, oh well. I gotta... Go and see... Oh. I see over there what looks to be a glowing chest. Now, I do love a good glowing chest, except a glowing chest means it's protected, which also means that there is gonna be a monster on it. Do I? I don't really want to go over there and fight a monster, but I think I'm gonna have to. So I think now we gotta go across here, try and get over here, um, <laughs> and hopefully there's nothing too bad. And then that will be good. It will be good. But I am not looking forward to fighting whatever is there. Oh, well maybe it's not a. Oh, are you kidding me, Yao? I hate swimming. I. <laughs> No! Okay, I guess... Uh, I gotta do this better. Because I'm doing this badly. I'm doing this so badly. <laughs> okay, we can try this again. I think if I go this way and skim past this thing, hopefully the distance will be shorter and Yao Yao won't have to swim as much. 
<laughs> oh no. This is fine. We're just gonna go over here. Try and avoid that guy. Um, and now we can just go. Oh, he saw us. Oh, great. Great. Okay, now we have to fight this guy. Okay. This is fine. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. This guy is a little bit tricky, but that, that's okay. Where do you. Oh, at least he left me some shields. Um, where do you go? Where is he? I can't fight you if you keep running away. Okay, this, this is fine. And then we can do this, and then we can do this, and then we can dab him some more. And now he's dead! Perfect. Now let's go this way, across the little ocean thing. This bit was probably the better way to go. Didn't involve any swimming. <laughs> always a plus, always a plus. Um, okay, so now we've got to find the mysterious thing. Also, there's this. Um, you know, I might switch to Amber because as much as I love Xiangling, she's very not helpful when you're trying to get specific things. Um, would you like shoot these things? Because <laughs> it takes forever for Goba to like recharge and you have to put him in the right place. Otherwise it doesn't work. Very, very annoying. Um, <laughs> okay. Oh, is this the last one? Oh, it wasn't a fighting chest. Amazing. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> I've got to do this better. Me and every exam. This is <laughs> one way making it hard of yourself. Eternal mood. Yeah, it is a mood. It is an eternal mood. Um, however, it looks like there's a Oculus. <gasps> oh, there is an Oculus. I'm gonna get that. Assuming it lets me, because sometimes I'm slightly too short and the force field gets upset. Okay, that worked. However, I think it's raining. And that's not usually a good sign. Now, where where am I looking for this little... How am I supposed to find his missing... Oh! I fell in a pit. Oh. Of course. Why is it... <sighs> Great. Okay, I guess we've got to fight these monsters. Um, okay, okay. Hopefully this will go quite well because we can just leave Yao Yao there and Xiang Ling can leave that there and everything should explode. Perfect, everything exploded. Okay, we can get a chest though that I didn't even notice was there because it was so misty, it was hidden in the rain. Well, this is, this is also a really dodgy place to like lose a box. Like how do you lose a box in the middle of a little cave overrun by killer chels? Very, very dodgy. Um, okay, let me... Let me go over here and see if we can get this. <laughs> oh, hello! Uh, Zanagi Zio? That was my best guess. <laughs> I think I definitely said that wrong. I'm sorry. <laughs> the box got... S oh, it makes sense that the box was stolen. But, like, this guy is so suspicious. So, so suspicious. Zio is fine. Okay, cool. Thank <laughs> I will try and remember that. Um... <laughs> it was borrowed. Okay, okay. Anyway, we gotta climb up this mountain. I think I'm going the wrong way. Like, I'm pretty sure there's an easier way to climb the mountain, but we're going this way now. So up the mountain, vertically up the rock face it is. <laughs> okay, up we go, up we go. Hopefully we get something good out of it. Um. Oh, we, did we gotta find another... Is Xiangling gonna make this? I think if I stop jumping, she will. So we're gonna keep going. <laughs> we're gonna keep going. Um. Yes. Oh, yes. So what we're doing today, Zio, because I assume you've only sort of just arrived, is I'm just basically doing a bunch of the world quests because they were building up and annoying me. So what we're currently doing is there was a very dodgy merchant who told us that his stock was all stolen and, um, he needed some help finding it. Uh, no, his invoices. He lost his invoices. And he said it in a very suspicious way. So now we're trying to find his invoices. Um, <laughs> that he lost. Somewhere. Over here. Oh, next to a house. That's convenient. <laughs> uh, autocorrect is... Well, autocorrect is both my best friend and my arch nemesis because my spelling is so atrocious that without autocorrect, things would be way worse. But also, it has a habit of making everything worse simultaneously. Anyway, hello, who are you? 
This doesn't seem to have any use. Excuse me, have you seen a box? A box? Well, I did pick one up. Uh, I already had a look inside and it was a batch of invoices. Seems like someone was doing a real huge business venture. Oh me, oh my, I wonder how much the owner of this box would pay to have it back. What do you mean? I don't look so nervous, I was just pulling your leg. The value of the goods on these invoices is not low by any means. Makes one wonder what big shot in Libra it was who signed off on it. I've got a sense of time and place. I'm not about to kick the hornet's nest just because I can. Still, don't you think it's a bit unreasonable for you to just take this and leave after all the time and effort I spent guarding it? How about this, let's barter. It's the most traditional way of solving such problems. You fetch me three Nepticlicus Jade and I'll give you the invoices. How does that sound? I mean, these three Noctilicus jades probably aren't worth anything compared to the things that exist on the invoices. We'll hop to it then. When you're back, we'll trade one for one. Okay, I guess I have some. You get the jades? Yes, I did. I apparently I don't have many of them, so this is a big investment here for some random guys, random guys' boxes. Um, invo invoices, take care of them now. All right then, best you be off. The person who hired you must be a real bundle of nerves right now. I hope he gives us something good. Like, at least as much as we just had to give this lady. Because that was a lot of, lot of money. Okay, not money, but like, a lot of stuff. Um, also, I think I have one of these things. I'm just gonna use it now, <laughs> since I'm up here. Um, yes. Um, yeah, world quests build up so fast. Yeah, they do. There are so many world quests. And it's not even, there's also them that I just haven't triggered and then I'll just go to a place and it will just be like, hello, I have a quest for you. <laughs> and it's, it annoys me, so that's why we're doing them. Um... <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I don't, I don't understand the, okay, I guess all the moderating things are really dodgy. Um... <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> you know what? I'm just gonna leave you guys to it. Um, they start a cult to do with Mr. Blobby and also fire. And I will leave them all to explain. I don't really know how this happened, but it did. Um, it all comes down to Abyss Majors though. That, that's the root of the problem. Anyway, hello Lander. Did you find the invoices? Yes, I did. Thank you truly. This is wonderful. I'm so glad that nothing went wrong. If these invoices were lost, I have no idea how angry my boss would have been. You want to ask what business these invoices were written for, don't you? I'm sorry, I really can't tell you, it's a secret. Well, here's your remuneration, remuneration. please take it. Wait a moment, why is this box being opened? You met someone out in the world who took a look at it after picking it up? Oh, I'm dead, dead, dead. This, this won't do, I have to tell the boss quickly. Don't worry, I'm not suspicious of you, I mean I did do my homework regarding your... Ahem. Well, I need to find a way to contact my boss, please carry on with your business. Okay, I guess that's that then. Um, anyway, that's another one done. Um, oh, dog, see you, look, you can't, you can't do anything. It's just there, staring at me. I can't pet the dog, I can't, I can't do anything. It's really sad. Um, anyway, anyway, I think that was most of those ones. I think that was all the ones in here. Oh! I'm gonna do the pirate ship quest. We got to do, I forgot about the pirate ship quest. I got to do the pirate ship quest after we got Beidol earlier. It's just necessary. Um, where where did oh it's over here. We're gonna go over here. Oh, I remember being quite hard to get there. Oh, I don't want to attack the dog. <laughs> I don't want to attack the dog. That's hmm. <laughs> okay, we're gonna climb up this mountain because we need to get higher up. Because the only way I can think of to get to the ship is to fly there. And to fly there, you got to start from a good vantage point. Otherwise, it just doesn't work. So we're going to climb up here. Well, we're going to try and climb up here. I don't think Xiong is going to make it. So we're going to... Wait. Oh. Why are there so many... I think the quest must be to talk to like so many different people. Because you see how many little blue diamonds there are? It's just waiting for me. Okay, um, <laughs> okay, we can climb up here, we can climb up here. Um, we gotta wait a sec though, because apparently I'm really bad at climbing rocks. You'd think, given the amount of rocks I climb, that this would be easier, but apparently not. Okay, let me go this way. And then we can get down. Oh, there's some mint, I like some mint. Usually when there's like something really close, 
If you gather all of them, something happens. Oh, nothing happened. I was expecting, like, something to spawn. Because usually, sometimes there's, like, a square of car carrots, and you pick all the carrots, then you get a chest. Or, something spawns and tries to kill you. But usually something happens. Um, okay, let's go over here. No, first of all, actually, we need to, we need to get Beidou, because we got a thematically appropriate. <laughs> okay, let's, let's try and get to the, the ship. I think this should be fine. I mean, we're going to find out if it's fine, because I got here before. So clearly, by, maybe I jumped from somewhere higher up. <laughs> oh, bye, child of peace. I hope you have a good good night. Have a good sleep. Oh, and I will see you on Sunday. <laughs> Uh-oh. This is going to be fine. I hope this is landable. Okay, okay, phew. I was worried there that I was going to drown and after <laughs> that would be quite embarrassing. Okay, um, what is the actual quest? What does it say? It just talk to everybody. Okay. I can talk to everybody as their boss. Um... And these are just people. These people don't have opinions. Well, they don't... They don't talk. Okay, um... Ooh! Some stuff to steal. Is it really stealing if this is my ship, though? That's what I've got to say. Anyway, hello! I um, haven't seen you before. You aren't one of the crew, are you? It's been a long time since a stranger came on the ship. Do you need help? I won't ask any random stranger for help. You should leave. Okay. That was a bit rude, but okay. I'll accept that answer. Um, can I- Oh, there's some chests here. Okay, I'm gonna open the chests. Um, who are you? How'd you get on the ship? Do you need any help? What do you want? Hmm, they're trying to rob me. Think again. Get out of here fast or you'll be sorry. I, I hate to break it to you, but I already robbed you. <laughs> it's too late. I, I already took all the stuff. Um, but we need to scroll further up because I'm unlucky and I keep clicking the buttons in the wrong order. But yeah, I could steal all of her stuff. What are you gonna do now? I already took it. Okay, okay, we're gonna keep going. We're gonna talk to like everybody on the ship. Do you? He does talk. Um. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh. Um. Okay, I'm just gonna let you guys. <sighs> the cult. Oh, oh. Um. Soft typhoon. When are we gonna fight the bosses? Um. What time is it? Okay. I think once I've done whatever this ship is, then we can fight the bosses, assuming I'm no longer locked out of co-op mode. Oh, I'm not locked out of co-op mode, so we can fight the bosses once I have finished this. <laughs> um, who are you? You don't seem like one of the crew. Do you need any help? I don't need your help with anything. If you aren't one of the crew and you weren't invited, then I suggest you leave. Otherwise, someone may make you leave. Well, everyone's just telling me to leave. That's a bit rude. I mean, I did kind of break onto their ship, so it's kind of understandable, but, but still. Um, did Juza frighten you? Don't take it personally, he's just like that. He also speaks a bit loudly on account of his poor hearing, but he's really a good person at heart. Now, if you aren't busy, you think you can help me with something- <gasps> Yes! It's been so long since we've returned to shore, but Juza is making everyone stay on the ship until Beidou gets back. Last time I was in the city, I paid Bolai to buy some supplies in advance when I returned. Take this letter to Bolai, and he'll get someone to bring the supplies to the ship. Ah, uh, what kind of supplies? Just some food, medicine, cloth, leather. I really appreciate the help, please get the letter to Bolai as soon as you can. Okay, but like, I have to talk to everybody else because this was quite hard to get onto the ship. I don't want <laughs> to leave and then have to come back again. So we're going to talk to everybody on the ship, thoroughly explore the ship, and then we'll go get the letter. Um, judging by your clothes, I'd say you're the traveller, right? What are you doing on the ship? Do you need help? Uh, you just came to help? Well, I don't need any. You should get out of here. You can't just come onto ships as you please. Well, I've done it twice now, and both times it seems to be working out, so... Maybe I can. Um, <laughs> breaking onto ships is part of being a pirate. Yeah. The ship is pretty short, but tons of time is traveling to and from the boat. <sighs> Am I gonna have to come back again? Ugh, great. At least I got all the waypoints now, so it should be quicker. <laughs> uh, when will we finally be able to get off the ship? Do you need help? Uh, you're the one who stuck onto the ship, right? I could hear Uncle Juza yelling from halfway across the ship. Did Uncle Juza frighten you? Huh, relax, he's a good person. He was just trying to act tough and scare you a bit. But when will we be finally able to go to the city? While Beidou is busy doing stuff in Leo Harbour, Uncle Juza won't let us leave the ship. Aunt Yinxing had promised to take me shopping in the city and then I could go play with Chang Chang! 
Chang Chang, I remember Chang Chang. She had the, she was the one who told us to feed a dog the other day. And last time I told Chang Chang I would play with her when I got back. But now you should still be able to go into the city, right? Can you help me out? Find some style conscious for me on the shore. I think there will be enough. Okay, thank you, I really appreciate it. I already have some style conscious. Do you want them? No, thank you, wait a sec while I fiddle with these. Aunt y Yin Sing taught me to make a toy out of style conscious. Uh, the next step is... Oh, you made the set! The toy! Uh, all done, can you please take, please take this to Chang Chang for me? I already want to give it to her myself, but Badal probably won't be coming back soon. And even when she does come back, we might just set straight out to sea again. Uh, it doesn't seem like I'll be able to make it into the city this time. I hope Chang Chang won't get mad. Okay, well that's good. I'm glad I picked that up before I went to the city, because if I had to come back again, just to have to deliver something to Chang Chang, I would have been very upset. Um, hello! What a headache. What do these symbols that the previous navigator drew mean? Are those areas where they encountered leviathans? What's with the long face? I'm the cruise navigator. Determining our heading and course is my charge, as is drawing up nautical charts. Our previous navigator was getting on in years, so I came to take his spot. He loved employing some unique symbols to mark his nautical maps, but he never bothered to explain the meaning behind them. But I suppose that might be a quirk endemic to navigators. I mean, it's quick and easy, if troublesome for anyone else. Okay, but you didn't tell me if you had any questions. Uh, what about those leviathans? I've been fascinated by marine biology since I was a child, especially those behemoths hidden deep beneath the waves. To be honest, I signed up for this job precisely because I'd heard the Captain Beidou slow slew Heishan. Uh, more's the pity that I haven't had the chance to see a leviathan with my own eyes. I'd really love to see one up close someday. I've also heard some sailors say that they saw something like giant antennae around the Sea of Clouds. Is that true or not? Who knows? Perhaps they were just seeing things while dead drunk. Oh! Was she not part of the quest? Um, I think there's one more person. Uh, oh, it's Druza. I see what you guys are up to. Um... <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know what? Hello. Uh, where could Beto be off to? Uh, need you, do you need help with anything? Ah, uh, it's you. So you actually did go around the ship helping people. Well, I got a job for you. We just pulled into shore, so we haven't had time to restock our food. Out on the open sea for so long, eating dried meat every day, it eats away at one's heart. It's not every day when it port. We best get some fresh food. But I don't know where Beto is at, and the rest of the crew isn't to leave the ship. It'd be great if you could bring us some fowl or raw meat. What about fish? Fish, forget it. The only fresh thing we can get when it see is fish. Fish, fish, we've had our fill. We want to eat something different now that we have the chance. I'll leave it to you then. Remember, fowl and raw meat. I already have fowl and raw meat, thank you very much. I have so much meat. Have oh actually have the fowl, I have way too much fowl. Here you go. <laughs> oh, I guess you could give him fish and then he'll just be upset with you. Uh wow, this is great. We can grill a lot of skewers of meat with this. When Badal gets back, she'll have some nice food to chow and chow down on with her drink. Um Okay. I guess now we gotta give the... <sighs> Wait, is there anybody left on the ship who need? Oh! There's a guy up there. Okay, good thing I saw that now. Because that would have been very upsetting if I got all the way to Liwa just to realize that this guy needed me to deliver something as well. <laughs> We're gonna climb up here. I don't know, how did he get up there? Because I feel like this is a very inefficient way to do it. I also, I'm a little bit worried. Oh, I can stand here for a second. <laughs> I love how so much of this is meat already yeah I'm already prepared because I gather resources I have so much meat on me and like star conch shells I didn't even have to do anything I was already ready um, but I do I have to still deliver some things because unfortunately you can't pre-prepare having like delivering people's mail <laughs> unfortunately I couldn't do that one in advance so we're gonna have to just wait a second here <gasps> no Oh no no no, do not. <sighs> I messed up, now we gotta climb this again. Is there a better, there's gotta be a better way to climb this, but I guess we're gonna have to do it, do it again. <laughs> I was too slow, I needed to hover and wait for my stamina to replenish, but I thought I would make it. And sadly I did not. Sadly I did not. Okay, let me go sideways this time, because I'm not doing that a second time. We're gonna wait here a second. Um. We're gonna wait, we're gonna wait. I really should have switched back to the other team, but I thought it was just too funny. You can't 
get Beidou in a stream and then not use Beidou to raid her own pirate ship. Like, I feel like she'd be proud of me. <laughs> I know literally nothing about her character, but I feel like she'd appreciate plundering her own ship. Anyway, we gotta wait a sec, and then we can go around here. And then, up here. Hello! Ugh, where do you come from? I didn't see you. Do you need any help? Uh, I don't have anything you can help with. You should go back to wherever you snuck up on me from. Setting up trouble on the ship won't do you any good. Okay, I guess we just gotta go to the harbour and deliver the stuff. Perfect. And hopefully we don't have to go back, though. Um, you have to be a pirate that's perfect. <gasps> Bay, though. Yes. I love it. <laughs> I love it, I love it. Okay, here you go, Chang Chang. I have your present. Little Yue isn't back yet, is he? This is a gift. Little Yue is back, then why didn't he come over himself? Last time he said he would come play with me, but it's been forever. Um, he can't live the ship now. Okay, he said the same thing the time before last, when a big tall man brought me a gift from him. Nothing he can do about it, I guess. I'm sure it's all because of Beidou again. But thank you anyway for the gift. Please thank Little Yue for me as well. When my daddy comes back, I'll ask him to take me to the ship Little Yue is on. If he can't come here, I can at least go to him. Aww, that's adorable. Okay, let me try and give... Wait, is it the dodgy guy? Oh, no. Can I get out of here? <laughs> Am I stuck now? Because sometimes I can climb out and sometimes I can't. Okay, this time I think it worked. Let's go this way. And then we can talk to this, we can talk to this guy. Hello. It's been a long time. Why has anyone come? This is from Yin Sing. But now you're delivering the letter. What about the guy from last time? He's not with you, is he? Ah, oh, phew, that's good. Okay, the supplies are all ready. Let's get someone to take them over in a bit. Union Stone Forest. That's a long way. I'll probably need to hire a boat to get there. Yin Sing's last payment should be enough to cover it, though. Okay. Wait, what's this? Oh, I just need to go. <sighs> okay. This is fine. We could just climb back up the roof onto the cave, and then we can, we can climb out of here. Hopefully. <laughs> I think I went the wrong way last time though, so we're gonna try going this way. I actually don't remember where I went, but we're gonna see if this is any better, because uh, I'm not gonna try and swim there, that's definitely not gonna end well. Oh no, this time I went the wrong way, I was supposed to go the other way. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> is that a Sealy? Never mind, I'm finding a Sealy. We gonna, are we gonna go this way? Hello Sealy. I hate when they do that because now I have to <laughs> I just have to climb a vertical rock face again to try and find the Sealy. Oh, I'm stuck. How do you this, this is fine. We can go this way probably. Yeah, no, that looks fine. You gotta find the way with least the least amount of overhangs because I keep getting stuck on different rocks. And it's not very fun. But I think the Sealy did find me a safer passage up here, so I can appreciate that. Thank you, Sealy. Where's my present? Okay, here it is. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, oh, there's one of these things. I'm gonna pick up my little little rock. Little rock. I also just completely ignored those slimes, but that, that's fine. Um, this is also higher up, so I think. Oh no. Why are these guys back? I came up here before when I was investigating, and why are there three of them? <laughs> oh, I forgot. I'm using the bad party as well. Oh god. This is gonna be fine. Oh, it's really not going to be fine because I, I'm not holding my good characters because I wanted Beidou for the... Right. Okay. This is going to be a problem, but that's okay. Yeah, it's, it's going to be fine. Definitely going to be fine. I... It's going to be fine. Yeah. <laughs> I have regrets. This, this is fine. It's... I desperately needed to be like literally anybody else. I need Yelan, but she's not here, and I, I fought the wrong one as well. Oh, oh, okay. You know what? I might have to legitimately run away. I don't think I can do this. The current party is is not is not looking so great because because I don't have my I don't have Yao Yao. <sighs> no. Okay. Um. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Okay. Let me. Let me. Stuff. You can just have some chicken. <laughs> this is be 
fine. Um, we can feed. Yeah, we'll be fine. Okay, okay. We just need Jean to not die, really. Oh. Oh, okay. This is not fine. Why is everything like this? I don't. Okay, this. Definitely gonna be fine. Mm hmm. Definitely. Oh, in good news, those two are both down, though. So I, it actually might be fine. I gotta get rid of the, the fire one, though. But these two are done. That's two down, one to go. Where is he? Where did he go? He's over here. Okay, okay. This, this is fine. We can leave this here. And then we can do this. And then we can just try and stab him some more. We should probably use Jean, considering Jean has the best sword. Um, okay, this, this worked out okay. I did not think it was going to, but... Yeah, it could have been worse. Could have been worse. <laughs> At least I didn't die. Okay. Perfect. Well... Yeah, was it worth it to get a higher vantage point? Probably not. But I have it now, so we should be able to fly over to the boat a lot easier. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, what do you guys have for dinner and stuff? Ooh, you guys had some good, good dinners. I just had rice. Well, I had other stuff too, but I don't know how to describe it in a nice, concise way. So it was rice and stuff. <laughs> I love some broccoli in there chicken yeah <laughs> congrats and thank you indoor petrichor i successfully defeated the blobbies and yeah success <laughs> but that was quite scary usually i only have to fight one at a time and i don't have my normal party with me because because i put beidol there and so i just switched to party two without like only swapping beidol so like yeah <laughs> did you give my present to chong chong yes she's coming to see you yeah, last time she also said she was going to have her daddy bring her onto the ship, but Bado and Uncle Juza won't let any strangers even get near the ship. Anyway, thanks again for your help. Well, to be fair, I got on the ship. <laughs> um, hello, did you deliver the letter? Yes. Thank you for your help, otherwise I would have just had to, would have had to ask Juza to deliver it again. He'd only scare Bolai, then Juza would have to come back and drag me over anyway to explain the situation to Bolai. Oh, I understand what happened. Oh, report back to Juza. Okay, good, good. This is this is fine. We can talk to him, and hopefully this will be the end. You lent a hand to so many people on the ship. I lost track. I'm curious, how did you get so good at helping people? Um, we did a uh, just by traveling, hmm, traveling around. I'm sure there's more to it than that, but I won't press you. Take these. Consider it. Thanks for helping us out. Uh, you're forgiven for seeking out the ship. No harm came of it anyway. But remember, if you board the ship in the future, do it properly. All right, you can go now. I have some work on the ship to take care of. As soon as we returned from Inazuma, Beidou had us anchor the ship here while she went into the Yurt Harbour. But she's been gone for so long now, it's not good to just be stuck here by Yuyun Stone Forest. I should go into the city and look for her. Oh! Success! <laughs> okay, okay, that's good. Wait, can I tell her? Oh, I can tell her for here now! I don't, like, there's actually no reason I would, no reason for me to do that, but like, oh, oh, they have different voice no okay. That's the Hells and Fate. Who are you? I'm the Hells on the ship. I never leave my post on voyage. If we have sudden encounters with briefs or whirlpools, I must be able to act swiftly. I can't afford to slack on my watch. It's an easy job, but it's always been my dream to do this. Your dream? Well, I wanted to go on adventures all over the world at the helm of a large ship, sailing freely wherever I pleased. That's why I became a helmsman. Now that I'm the helms of the Alka, half my dream has been realized. The other half may never be fulfilled, though, which is a shame. Though I'm the helmsman where we're headed, what route we're taking, I still need to take orders from the captain and our navigator on those matters. Honestly, it was a bit disappointing at first, but I think I got over it as time went by. Most people's lives are like that. Anyway, those who can control their own path will always be few and far between. I mean, at least I've met a leader who I can fully trust. You know, Captain Bader will never lead us wrong. Ooh, that means everyone's voice lines have changed. Where did the lady go? Hmm, okay, okay. Interesting, interesting. Um, that was a smooth glide to the ship. <laughs> oh, sad times, I see. Um, <laughs> oh, okay. Um, let me talk to. Sorry, but I just want to check on our weapons readiness. If this is important, don't bother. If it isn't important, don't bother me. Who are you? I'm the Alka's chief smith. I'm also in charge of all the weapons used in this fleet. If you're looking for a metalsmith, go hit Hanfeng's Ironmongers up. The boss there, Master Zhang, is my cousin. Scarf is the finest there is in Liu Harbor. 
When it comes to smithing metals, I'm not his equal, but if we talk about familiarity with weapons, I don't believe myself inferior to anyone. I joined Captain Beto's crew to get a chance to look at rare and unusual weaponry. Ooh, okay. I, I don't need to talk to these people, but I'm not. <laughs> but I do kind of want to while I'm here. So I'm going to talk to all the people. And then, and then we can go fight bosses. Because I don't think there are as many people around, actually. Or they've moved. Uh, if you have a moment, Traveller, could you have a look up there? Have we met? I'm a sailor on the alcohol in charge of fighting, mostly. I don't you judge me on account of my size. Now, even Sheaf Mate Druzas hasn't got my strength. Why, he's never beaten me in a single round of arm wrestling. I'll just say it now, by the way, I won't marry anyone unless they can go around with me and win. It's as simple as that. Shame, but the only person who's won against me is Captain Beidou, of course. Ooh. Interesting thing to say, too. Beidou. <laughs> uh, what was your second thing? Up where? I'm talking about the crow's nest. No clue if Lilsha's found anything. I've hollered for him a few times, but no dice. Maybe the waves are too loud and he can't hear me. I'm a little afraid of heights, so I... Why don't you have a look, if you have the time? I don't want to climb up there though, because it took so long last time, and my patience is not that great. We're gonna see... Is anybody up here still? Oh, I mean, I think she's gonna tell me the same stuff as last time. Yeah, we can ignore her. Okay, I guess we gotta climb up there then, and then that will be it. Um, Yeah, we gotta just... Wait, is this the right one? Yeah, I think this is the right one. Wait, is it? Yeah, it is. Okay, this is fine. We can climb up here. Um, wait, did I talk to the s Yeah, I did. He was the helmsman guy. Okay, we've got a- I hate climbing this thing. It's really annoying, but- Oh, now I'm gonna fall off of it. Okay, we've gotta wait here for a sec. And then, hopefully, hopefully, it'll all- It'll all go down. It'll ugh, all go down well. Okay. And why am I failing so miserably at just maneuvering? I thought I was better at navigating than this, but apparently not. Um, okay, okay. I kind of want to see if I'm going to make it, but last time I did that, <laughs> it didn't end very well. Okay, let me stand over here. Are you, are you done? <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> I was confused at what she was doing, she was just kind of standing there. But it's, it's all good now. Um, okay, we just gotta... <sighs> see, I gotta get round this thing though. Okay, this is fine. Okay, hello, my dude. Yeah, it's up here in the crow's nest, didn't you? Don't come up here if you have no important business. Who are you? I'm the ship's lookout. Chu Liu Shi. If you were older, you might have heard some tales about me. Not that it's anything worth talking about, of course. It's about tales. You've ne you ever heard the name Third Round Knockout? That place used to be some no-name watering hole. The specialty there was the wine fermented sweet rice balls. But they were so waxy, they were waxy and soft, and the wine was all there was to the soup. I was young then and I lost a bet with some folks. I had three bowls in a row and got so placid that I fell off the ship into the sea right as we were weighing anchor. That incident gave the pub its name, third round knockout. It also lost me my job. No one wanted to sail too deep into the bottle. Only Captain Bador was willing to give me a chance to turn over a new leaf. And that's how it happened. I hope my story can serve as a lesson to you, traveller. Oh, I love that. <laughs> so funny. I love the good, the good like local legend that came from something really dumb. Um, okay, what's the situation? That reminds me, I did hear someone yelling from down below, but the winds are too strong, couldn't hear too well. Everything looks normal, if anything comes up, I'll ring. Oh! <laughs> it's just some good old fashioned miscommunication. Thanks for watching everyone, if you've enjoyed the video make sure to like and subscribe. If you'd like to see me play live, then check out my Twitch channel. You can find me on Wednesdays and Sundays at 8pm GMT. Thanks again, and have a great day!